what has this period of time done in terms of your view of your profession? More than giving information or insights, the most important part of my job is facilitating uh, like real time thought provoking interaction. And I haven't found, I mean, I, I, I feel the absence of that in my life. I, I haven't found something that's comparable. That to me is what's so exciting about high school is when you set up the circumstance that people can engage with each other and an idea and you see, you see new ideas and you see discoveries and you see that enthusiasm. Um, and you know, Zoom gives a little taste of some of that, but I haven't found, I, I haven't found the actual replacement. And so I really miss that. I mean, I've got the parts of the job that I didn't sign up to teach for without the parts that were the rewarding part. Thank you. I hope you get back to that, that other uh, flip side. Uh, Stacy. how about you? Yeah, I agree with what Paul just said, that the, the joy of teaching is working with students and being with students and watching their interactions. So much of it is seeing them do something where they don't even realize we see them. It's like spying on their learning and to not have that opportunity, it's, it's rough, it's really rough. Um, so it helps me appreciate all these moments that we do have for connection and to emphasize those way more than curriculum, which teaching at a college prep school is kind of unheard of. Um, so it's, it's really allowing us to kind of step back and better know what it means to teach the whole child um, when they're not in our presence and how we can care for them. Um, our vice principal just keeps reminding us that our obligation is to give them opportunities to learn. And that looks like whatever it does right now. Um, so it's allowing us to be a lot more creative. Um, it reminds me how important school is for all of our students' lives. So many students are like, I didn't realize how much I love school till I didn't have it anymore. You know, in a classroom, I have a kid who's struggling and I give them a look and they know that look says, I believe in you and they keep working. And now I can't give them the look. So I have to get really creative to find a way to send the look without being right there. We work really hard for our students and we go above and beyond. Um, we are always learning and, and trying new things and new approaches, new strategies to reach our students and to support them in their growth and in being successful. And that I hope that translates into more support for our schools. No one taught us how to do this. This is not what we signed up for. And we took it and we pivoted and we did our best. And so many teachers across the country have been sharing on Twitter, on different Facebook groups. And some stuff is really good and stuff stuff's really bad, but so many people have been sharing and sharing and sharing. and. Um, and I have really appreciated that um, and also just appreciated the support within my school and I can't wait to get back in the classroom and I can't wait to the day that I can hug my students again and give them a high five and not be freaked out. Um, but, and I know that's, that's a ways away, but I, I can't wait for that.